Bug testing is a common step in most people's job hunt, but now Ohio may be on the cusp of legalizing marijuana in our state. We wanted to find out what that could mean for businesses, employees, and workplace safety. Our Megan Hickey's live from the newsroom would look at how legal pot could affect drug testing in the workplace. So even though pot could become legal on the state level, it won't be on the federal level. So employers will be faced with some tough, tough policy questions if issue three passes. It's a hurdle that employers already face. What their number one struggle is today in the state of Ohio, it's finding employees who can pass a drug test. But making pot legal in Ohio could mean sweeping policy changes. Tim Dimoff is a former undercover narcotics officer and certified court expert on drug policy. He told me businesses can continue with their drug testing policies, but it could cost them. If they have someone that tests positive, that person may take them to court and challenge them. And where the companies are concerned is the challenges are going to cost a lot of money and time. Dimoff explained to me that marijuana is unique. It produces a positive test result at least 30 days after it's ingested. So businesses might have to drop their random testing. Someone that tests positive, are they really impaired? Or are they just their body is slowly releasing the THC from the fat cells and providing a false positive. Dimoff told me businesses might have to revert to post-accident testing only. And they might also switch from a blood test to a saliva test to reduce the chances of false positives days or weeks after the effects of a marijuana high have worn off. And it'll be business as usual for federal employees in Ohio. They'll still face traditional drug testing, and any amount of marijuana in the system will be considered marijuana intoxication. Live in the newsroom, Megan Hickey, News Channel 5.